Hello friends, colleagues and my elders. You all welcome back to your channel, The Knowledge Hub. Okay, so today we are going to look at this book review. It's the ninth book review in our library file. That is reading and reflection on text. Now this is for BA at first year. And the ninth book is uh, my pedagogy for computer science. That's my own subject. So uh, the book I'm making use here uh, the book I'm making use of here is uh, Teaching of Computer Science. This is the book here. It is a very good book here. Everything has been explained in detail. There is no aspect of computer science that has not been explained in this book, starting from the history, the involvement of computers, the evolution, the generations, and uh, softwares, hardwares, programming, Everything has been discussed. So this book by uh, Hemant Kumar Goel, okay, Teaching of Computer Science. And it's also published by R. Lal Book Depot. It was published in 2008 and it has a price of just 170 rupees. The book overall is a very good book. Now let's begin with the book review here. We can see the title of the book, the author, the publisher. Okay, then the pages are very good. It's clean, clear printing. Everything is clear and it's a simple book. Now let's move on. First of all, we have in the contents, we have this list. We begin with the acknowledgement. I told you last time that when you're writing a pedagogy about your own subject, a book review, it's good to give an acknowledgement. Uh, what really acknowledgement is, it's your showing your gratitude to your parents, your family, your teachers, okay? All those that have supported you throughout the course study. Now we come to the preface here, we first give an introduction, what the book is about, what you have learned, what you feel is good about the book. So this is our preface page here. Moving on, we have contents here. Now in the contents, let me tell you, we have 25 chapters in this book. Plenty, okay, you see, starting from the first word, introduction, its uses, historical prospects, types of computers, structure of computer, then the agents of computer operating system, you can see how widely it has been discussed here. Then computer network, we have the types of network, okay, which are commonly used here. What is the connectivity that has been used, okay? Then word processing and Microsoft Word 2000, we all know about Microsoft Word, okay? Uh, in which we type, we edit, we have different fonts. Then uh, we have electronic spreadsheet, that's Microsoft Excel. Then we have the DBMS, that's the database management system. That's how we're going to arrange our data, uh, how it is going to be stored, the arrangement, the easy accessibility, the reduction of reputation. Okay, all these things come in our DBMS. Then we have programming and programming languages. We have from the start, uh, which computer program started in the very beginning, which computer understands easily, then we have the uh, specific programming languages that is for software specific, business specific, things like that. Then we have CorelDRAW. Okay, we have heard about CorelDRAW, Adobe Photoshop. Softwares like this are used for designing, editing. Moving on, we have accounting package tally, security or safety of computer, aims of teaching computer science, objectives of teaching computer science. Then we have content analysis or determining the teaching points, methods of computer science teaching. Then we have the curriculum of computer science, teacher of computer sciences, computer laboratory, computer library, computer teaching and evaluation, objective type test, and finally lesson plan. Okay, so you see uh, these are the 25 chapters that have been discussed widely in this book. We have them here in our file. We have to list them in our file as well. Then, after the contents, now we begin with the internal norms. Internal norms, we're going to start with the definition about what a computer is, how this word was coined, then the history, some evolution of it, and why do we use computer systems. So we have the definition here. This word has been obtained from the word compute, which mainly means calculate or count. In the olden days, it was mainly used for calculation, but with improvement, with development, with modernization. Now, what else does it perform? Input of data, storage of data, processing of data, output. These are the, uh, what, these are the commands, the instructions that we can give to a computer system. 
And then where and where are computers used nowadays? They're used in education and teaching, weather forecasting, banking and accounting, scientific research, space science, military and defense, food production companies, and business. Moving on, why computers? What is What are the characteristics of computers that are so much in use nowadays? Then we have the history of computers. It first started with an abacus, which is a calculating device, and moved further to these. And then the generations. We are still in the fifth generation now. Now this is the structure of a computer here. We have the memory, the input, output, and then we have the arithmetic and logical unit, which comes in the CPU. Okay? Moving on the computer network, yes, how do computers work together? When they are interconnected together using cables or using a Wi-Fi connection, how do they work? Okay, and what kind of data can be shared? So we have the written, the visual, the audio, the human experience and exercises that are mostly used in scientific research methods. Then we have the types of network, the smallest, which is the PAN. Then we have the LAN, the MAN and the WAN. And then the arrangement of computers in a network, are they arranged in a straight line, in a circular, in a star, or just mixed up? That is called the topology. Then we have the DBMS, the database management system. We first see what is data, then what's the database, then the languages that are used in DBMS, then the models, and then the elements. Now, elements is one of the most common thing. Let me just give you a hint. A database, okay? We have tables in a database. Now, each table must have a field name. It must have the record. We fill in it, and then a file. Then the aims of teaching computer science, we have practical aim, cultural aim, and disciplinary aims. These are the three aims. And then in the concept here, we have the goal, the means, and the evidence. The goal is the ob uh, educational objective, the means, that's the learning experience, and evidence, change of behavior. Now, what are the strengths in this book? Why is this book good? Now, this book has uh, provided a complete package. It has discussed from the start about a computer, the history, the development, the generations, the parts of a modern computer. All these aspects have been explained in an easy language using tables and figures. And then we give a brief conclusion about the book. And what are the suggestions here? We can see these are, there should be more diagrams. If colored, it would be more interesting. Details could be listed as points would make it easier. Now, why are we saying this? Uh, this is because, for example, here, these are in tables here. But there are some parts of the book which have a lot of paragraphs in it, more of theory in it, okay? Reading and understanding this at times seems boring. But if things are listed here, if topics are listed here as points, they would be more interesting and easier to recall. Okay, so that is one of the suggestions here. So this was the uh, file about the pedagogy of computer science. Thank you.